up, everybody? I'm Ashley Jenkins, and welcome to our PAX 13 update live from the show. The Xbox One confusion just keeps on coming. A few weeks ago, it was announced that the Xbox One will only launch in 13 countries rather than the initially planned 21 countries this November. Then it was announced that only five of those countries will have voice support on launch. Now, Microsoft has clarified that actually 10 of those 13 countries will have voice support, but only five will have the Xbox on command. Okay, so their clarification seems to create more questions than it answers. Is the Xbox on command really the only difference between these five countries and the rest? And if so, why is it that hard to add an Xbox on command to those other countries? Will the PlayStation 4 have this kind of problem? You have to wonder. A few days ago, it was announced that the PS4 camera, which unlike Kinect, does not automatically come with a console, will also support voice recognition. However, Sony hasn't shared details on how any of that will work, so we don't know how extensive the voice recognition is or how many languages will be supported on launch. This console launch is getting fun. First, both Sony and Microsoft execs take to Twitter to boast that both of their consoles will wake up to download remote purchases. Now this, somebody get me some popcorn. So how do you feel about the varying levels of voice recognition in Microsoft's console at launch? Are they doing the right thing by telling us about it and rolling it out? Or should they have followed Sony's lead and said as little as possible? Shout out in the comments below. Let us know what you think. If you want to see more news coverage videos about all the stuff we love, click like so we know we're on the right track. And make sure you visit roosterteeth.com to find out how we really feel on The Patch, iTunes number one gaming podcast.